Hello everyone, we are the Seminole Coast team and this is our submission video for the 2021 RoboBoat competition that will cover the whole design and material selection for our boat. Our team lead is Bryson Potts and the remaining team members are Manny Owens, LJ Ernest, Stephen Harrington, and Tamara McCaskill. We are all senior level students in the Mechanical Engineering Department at FSU PC. Hello, my name is Stephen Harrington and I'm here to talk about some of the subsystems that we plan on integrating into our whole design. Here we have some 3D printed models of fins that we plan to mount the thrusters onto. This will allow us an easier time to remove them should any work need to be made onto the thrusters or their placement, as well as making sure that should the boat be placed down, it doesn't rest directly on the thrusters leading to damage for them. Another subsystem that we plan on integrating into our final design is a LiDAR tilting mechanism. As seen by the blue boundary, we can, using this LiDAR tilting mechanism, we are able to have a broader field of vision on the immediate vicinity of the hull. This will allow us to avoid any obstacles that we have come up on unknowingly. At other times, the mechanism will tilt back and give us a larger range of vision, allowing us to plan ahead and avoid any oncoming obstacles. Hello, my name is Manny Goins, and this is a 1 16th volume scale model of the catamaran uh, boat that we're going to envision on manufacturing for our, the 2021 rubber boat competition. Um, in 2019, our team essentially made a boat that was too short and there was too much thrust force in the rear causing the boat to flip whenever they propelled the boat. So we're going to avoid that and we're going to make one that's a little bit longer. Um, and one, one reason that we're going with the catamaran design is because of the space that is allowed um, with this design. We're going to have plenty of room to put any components um, throughout uh, the, the hull and uh, be able to work on them possibly even inside without having to take things out, um, which will save on time. Um, and with this, we're going to be able to uh, have four thrusters all the way across distributed through the pontoons. So this is going to help us uh, um, avoid our problem that we had back in 2019. Um, and then also, this design is going to give us a lot more drag in the water, which is going to help us slow down. Um, and if we need to use our thrusters a little bit more, we can. But overall, we'd be able, we'd rather miss short than miss long. Um, and then lastly, this boat design is also going to give us the um, optimum um, stability that we, we will need throughout the competition and it's going to be able to sit pretty tall in the water. Um, so once again, this is our whole design and why we chose it for the competition. Hello, my name is Bryson Potts and I will be talking about our testing of our prototype. So to do some testing on our boat, we decided that it would be efficient to make a 3D print of the boat at a 16th volume scale model. So what we did was printed it in three phases. We have our boat hull, we have the boat hull lid, and we have the hatch to the lid. So what we did to test it was taking this and putting it into water, we were able to determine how it would actually sit in the water, and then using lead fishing weights, we were able to put these on the boats as representative weights for the components and see if it still sat the way we liked. When we determined that we liked how it was going to sit and had a representative idea of where the components would go, then we decided it would be okay to move on to a full scale model and then further on to finalizing the, the whole. My name is Joseph Furness and I'll be talking explicitly about the hatch design of our prototype model. Uh, we made the design because previous teams have stressed to us uh, the importance of being able to get inside the boat and mess with the components, change them around, take them out, whatever they need to do to be able to get inside the boat without completely disassembling it. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that our hatch is waterproof, sealed tight, that way we don't have to worry about water getting inside the boat, uh, water getting on the components and damaging them, and if for some reason we um, 
flip the boat, then hopefully we'll have minimal water inside of it. Uh, we plan to seal it with silicone, that way it's waterproof. And as you can see, the hatch just comes right off easy. You can get right inside the boat, get any components you need, and have easy access.